So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Well, it's that time of year. It's some summertime drinks. And freshly squeezed lemonade is one of my favorites. It quenches your thirst. And I'm telling y'all, this is one of the best recipes you'll ever make. First thing we're going to do, into my pot, we're going to pour one cup of water. And we're going to put a cup and a half of sugar. And all we're going to do is melt the sugar. Once the sugar has melted and your water is translucent, take it off the heat and then you want to cool it down real quick. You want to get you some good lemons. Meyer lemons are the best here in this area, but we don't always have them and can't get them all the time. So I just grab what we've got. I do have a lemon tree, and it would be wonderful if I could grow my own lemons, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But anyways, you need about mm, five or six medium lemons. Some of mine are on a kind of the small size, so uh, you just have to figure that one out. Uh, if they're small, you might use two for one, but five or six lemons is usually enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these good. I'm going to cut them in half. And we're going to juice them. Now, I have a lot of trouble with my hands with arthritis. And juicing becomes an issue sometimes. But I do get it done. But I've been looking for a citrus juicer. And I think I found one. And uh, I'll put the link below. And Because uh, I know a lot of people are in my situation with their hands. So don't let that stop you. Uh, we'll get us a citrus juicer. And uh, we'll be able to do this. But I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way till I can get one. So let's get our lemons juiced. Hey, that was pretty quick. It was about a minute and a half or two minutes. And you see how clear the water is, which means the sugar has melted. So I'm going to take it off the stove, and I'm going to let it cool down. Okay, we're going to start juicing our lemons. And I'm going, I've got about seven or eight small lemons. If you're using anywhere from medium to large lemons, you'll probably just need about five. And I like to just roll them around on the counter, get the juices going. And I'm just going to use my little juicer here. Uh, the main thing that you want is you want a cup of lemon juice. So, you know, it could take anywhere from five to eight lemons. Just depends on the size. Just as long as you have a good cup of lemon juice. I like using this, but it is kind of hard on your on your hands and your fingers. So there's different uh, juicers you can use, and I've got several different kinds. Now this one I've got here is called a reamer, and it's made out of wood. And this one's really easy to use. It's it's easy on your hands and your and your fingers. You just kind of push it into the middle and just kind of turn it and squeeze with the other hand and it juices real well. And I'm juicing over a little bit of strainer to keep the seeds out and some of the pulp. Some people like pulp in their lemon juice and in their even orange juice. I'm going to try to keep as much out as I can. And then one of these, this is a little hand juicer. I got this at a flea market for a dollar, and it's not plastic, it's some kind of heavy metal, some kind of steel or something, I don't know. 
but to me this works probably the best of all and it's not hard to squeeze just give it a good squeeze and it will get all of that juice out of there really good so it's about that easy so there's different kind of juicers you can use it's just whatever is easiest for you so we're getting close to getting a cup of lemon juice okay we're going to start mixing our lemonade up and i've just got a bowl here that i want to mix it up in before we put it in our container and we're just going to pour in our uh, this is our simple syrup that we made earlier with our cup of water and our cup and a half of sugar simple syrup is all that is now we've got four cups of well water if you don't have well water you can use uh, filtered water or a good bottled water and here we've got our cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice and that's all there is to this this is some of the best and I got some seeds I see some seeds floating around in there now how those get in there I'm telling you anyways I'm gonna have to fish those out I can remember let me get me a spoon I can remember um, my grandmother we never had sodas in the house and we didn't have Kool-Aid but we had tea and we had of course well water and we had milk and uh, we always had lemonade my grandmother loved lemonade and she always had a small pitcher in the refrigerator but it wasn't freshly squeezed it was country time lemonade and that's what she liked but I can remember that just like it was yesterday but I'm telling you if you ever make your homemade sweetened lemon oh that's so good your homemade sweetened lemonade you'll never do it any other way you can double triple this recipe and if you can't use sugar I'm pretty sure you can use your sugar substitute and it'll turn out good so here it is in my container and this is a two two and a half gallon container that I put my tea in or lemonade when I've got quite a few people here so it'd be a lot prettier if it was at least half full but me and Mr. Brown can't drink all that here by ourselves. that's why I made the amount that I did this right here is about uh well it just depends it's about uh probably six to eight um, servings so you can double and triple this it does take a lot of lemons but it is well worth it this is some of the best homemade lemonade you will ever drink and um, me thinking about that I'm thinking you know it would be worth it especially in the summertime to have a uh, a citrus juicer uh, electric one that kind of help you out a little bit there so like I said earlier I'm gonna be looking for one and if I find one I'll put the link below in my description box but anyways it didn't take me long to juice some lemons the size lemons I had they were kind of small lemons and it took eight of them a medium good size medium lemon would take about five so I'll put that in the recipe so anyways let's fix this a glass of lemonade I'm telling you, if you love lemonade, or maybe you don't like lemonade because all you've ever had is the Kool-Aid lemonade or the Country Time, this is the best lemonade I've ever drank. I made some of this over the Memorial Day weekend and took it to the river, and uh, my daughter just absolutely loved it, and she's a, she loves good lemonade. So guys... I want to be doing a lot more of these summertime drinks. I do have a recipe for strawberry lemonade, homemade strawberry lemonade, and I'll be doing that next. And uh, if y'all like these recipes, let me know. 
because you know sometimes in summertime it's hard to quench that thirst but I guarantee you this will do it it might make you pucker just a little bit but man it's good I hope y'all like this recipe it's so good y'all come back and see us you hear